Dave, Dan and Laura melt down. Like any other episode, Dan starts the auction with his rapid calls. I have, sir, 135 there, 145 yeah. 145 there, what, 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 155 in the beach. The bid turns into a battle between Renee and Mary after all other participants opt out. 185, 185 chickens say no. 185, 185 going once, 185 going twice. I'm in. I'm in. Mary gets upset after Dan glosses over her bid. Ha ha ha. Damn, I was bidding over here. I saw it. I witnessed it. Auctioneer has the right to reopen. Dave tries to stick stand up for Mary by suggesting Dan reopen the bid. But don't think I told you. You're 165, Mary. Learn how to catch a bid. Sorry about that, Mary. Learn how to catch a bid. Dan tries to placate Mary, but Dave shows he's not willing to pass out a chance to be disruptive. Oh, come on admit now. It. You admit it, right? Mary, hoping Dan will accept the blame, presses him again with Dave heckling in the background. Playing favorites. Wow. Laura, having had enough of Dave's continuous insults, gets combative with him. Oh. Well, you want to know why? You're starting yeah, trouble. You didn't see. I you didn't see. Right next yeah, to you didn't see anything. You're just, you just acting like sh so you can just, give me some problems. Start you oh. give me any Things take a very quick turn when Dan inches close to Dave's face. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? That's it. As things get heated, the two eventually come to blows with onlookers trying their hardest to break them apart. After the two were successfully split up, but Laura's ticked off by the way she was tossed, tries to send Dave off the premises. Out of this auction, you Out of here. Dave and Laura. Dave appears at the auction only to get a warning to play nice before the auction starts by Laura, who's trying to assert her dominance. Dave expresses his stance immediately. Say what you want, absolutely, but you do not have to discredit me or put me down in any way or say you're going to take my account. Laura decides to taunt Dave with her very scathing comments. When Danny's not here, you know you haven't been around forever. And then you come and get in my face. Well, I'm going to let you know I'm the only auctioneer here. Yeah, yeah. Dave, unwilling to let the insult slide, decides to throw his own words in as well. It you need one. It ain't worth it. That's all right. You know, and I'll take your money because it is green. But it, I just don't you want to school you. me. Send a man to Things start to get heated between the two as they keep up with their argument. Done. Yeah. Okay, now shut up. Laura leaves her duties behind to confront Dave, who casually looks through the unit that was up for auction. That's right, I'm in charge. This is America, baby. I can talk all I want. Tired of the way Laura has been throwing her weight around, Dave decides to clear up what her role is. Company. From this auction, I'm going to take 20% from you are today, paid too. to call the bids. It's I sell 3,000 auction. auctions it's a year. Brandy and Brandon decide to share their input on the disagreement. Getting in a woman's You're going to fight a woman, you little Maybe you should. To combat Laura's challenge, Dave decides to make a few misogynistic comments that make Laura more mad than ever. You want to be at my auction? Well, bring somebody, now. bring some man, okay, to do your talking for you. Is that okay? what you think that I need? It's in the mouth, don't make it. Done with his attitude, Laura decides to kick Dave out of the auction. Roboto. Do you hear me? You're gone. We'll, we'll go ahead and okay. upstairs. Thank okay. you. Dave and Renee. Renee and Dave get embroiled in a very intense bid war. There, one quarter, hundred quarter, hundred and a half, one fifty, one fifty, one fifty. I got one and a quarter, hundred and a half, sir. Yeah. One fifty, one fifty. Renee incessantly throws his bids toward the point of annoyance for Dave. Dave makes a last ditch effort to get in his hands in hopes of teaching Renee a lesson. Having acquired the rights to the storage unit, Dave decides to lock it up for later. Everybody Everyone else thinks you're. Woo! El Diablo! Amen. Hoping to play a trick on Renee, Dave tauntingly calls out to him. Say, Dave, what makes you happy? I got a room for sale. I'll let you make 50 bucks. I'll pay you $300. But you laughed at me, so that laugh is going to cost you 100 bucks. Come on. Hey. Dave makes Renee an offer for an extra room he's hoping to sell, all for a higher price. I didn't get nothing but again. I'll let you make 50 bucks. That's more money than you're going to make on any. Dave decides to capitalize on Renee's desperation. No, no. Come on. Make it a little bit better. Nope. A little better. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. 
Vexed by Dave's insult, Renee fights back but decides to let it drop since he's hoping to make a deal with Dave. Okay, wait a minute. Give me the money. It's a deal. It's a deal. Okay. <laughs> Laura gets ticked off by Dave's self-promotion. Dave attends the auction with a few new designs added to his truck. <laughs> Laura, who has shown how much she hates Dave's guts time and time again, calls her husband's attention to the vehicle. Are you kidding me? No, I don't even know why you're pointing it out. You know what, Dan? Dave has himself a field day, having accomplished what he set out for. Or give it Is that how it's going to be? You're going to treat me like right I don't now? Care. Why don't you go sit in the car? Why don't you go sit in the car? Yeah. Hey, everybody thinks I'm a <laughs> idiot. That in a backdrop. Dave decides to throw a taunt at Laura. Any good side. I think every side sucks. Dan and Laura get into a minor couple spat. I don't Just go ahead and plaster it on my ass, auctioneer. Would you? I would. I want you to put a tramp stamp, Dan Dots, an auctioneer near. Okay, I will. The duo eventually make up and move on with their day. Team Dotson ready to go. Renee, while having a conversation with the Dotson, joyfully describes how cheery he's feeling for the day. It's you, kid. Steroids, you've been juicing, huh? You're all revved up. You know what? I feel so calm. I have like a really calm spirit. It's funny. Oh, great. Dave is here. You know what? Let's just make uh... Due to his previous run-ins with Dave, Rene expresses his immense displeasure at his arrival. Rainy piss black cloud rain on your parade today. I tell you what, I'll start out every unit with $200 if you just kick out Dave. I don't care what the units look like, I'll kick on every unit with The two, upon meeting, get into a little argument. My God. You here for the auction? Nobody will even talk to this asshole, so he's got to bother the elderly. Oh, that's pretty bad if you call me asshole. If that guy bothers you, let me know. I'll punch Dave threatens to physically assault Rene. Rene decides to confront him by getting all up in his face. Why do you get so freaky out, man? Dan, it's all cool. He just wants to be, he wants to be like me, I think. Dave, being a master at his craft, immediately finds another way to escalate the situation, despite Dan's attempt to do otherwise. Loser. Give him some schnitzel or something. Hey, you can buy the book too.